Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul and I am honored to be connecting with you today. It is May 23. It is a Tuesday and I'm very grateful to have the ability to serve you from my home. Uh, I have been doing these live streams for a little over a year now. Each and every day I checked guidance to find out what is the subject matter for the day. Uh, many times the subject matter that I choose is directly related to the wisdom and teachings of my teacher, Master Zhigong Sha. And um, I always, as much as possible, give credit to Dr. and Master Sha for the incredible uh, sage and sacred wisdom, uh, the kind of wisdom that can literally uplift your soul and take you to the next level. There are so many distractions in our life, um, including even the base teachings that we learn from a variety of different sources or um, the different things that are intriguing, psychic readings and tarot cards and all these little things that grab our attention. <clears throat> They're all um, designed to assist us to move further along the path. And one of the reasons why I chose this subject matter today of aligning to your purpose. What is your soul's purpose? It's because many of us are very, very, very lost, uh, including myself in many cases. So by no means am I perfect and by no means am I uh, the only uh, messenger, if you will, of a path that could serve you. But I can share with you that there are better paths than others when you are looking to align to your purpose in life and looking to align to your soul's purpose. And there are paths that can be identified not by me and not by what I share with you, but by what resonates with your soul when information is offered. Because if it aligns to you, it feels good. It seems right. There's just something about it that clicks. And that's how you can always tell uh, um, higher level wisdom because it is typically soul driven wisdom and so um, uh, today I wanted to share with you some of the deeper insights that I have received that Master Shah has brought to the table and I will be reading some from uh, one of his books and assisting each of you in whatever way is uh, best I hope and I encourage each and every one of you to stay tuned in to listen carefully and to to learn that there is a great value in um, honoring the wisdom before us. One of the things uh, that is happening in humanity is the amount of ego is getting quite large. Uh, the ego is so big nowadays that it literally is inhibiting um, individuals like you and me from really being open and willing to learn from others. Now the other side of that coin is each individual is being awakened at the level of soul and they're being taught at the soul level to not just quote follow anyone, to, to question things, to not be a follower. And one of the reasons why is because there is a great deal of falseness um, uh, and what I refer to as false prophets. And when, when I say something like that, most people instantly think of, of an individual, a person. But in fact, that's not the case. The false prophets are actually deliverers of information, such as the sources of news, such as the internet itself, such as all the TV shows and all the dramas and all the movies, all these different things that grab our attention and take us away from soul connectivity. These are examples of false prophets. And we must, as, as the we, you, I, as the individual responsible for our journey, we must awaken substantially more to our interconnectivity to our soul. Because our soul is always communicating with us. <clears throat> but uh, we are often not able to hear it because of all the different distractions. Those false prophets, as an example, being one of the many distractions that come at us from every different angle. Um, and so today, the wisdom that I hope to share from my teacher, from the soul world, 
um, is not something that I'm suggesting you just follow outright. I am suggesting that you um, connect to your heart and discern intellectually and from your heart, from your heart um, knowledge, your heart wisdom, your soul wisdom. Does the information resonate with you? Does it uh, move you to a place of heart opening versus move you away from heart opening? The, the false prophets of this day, you know, the, the dramas, the TV shows, the, uh, the game shows, the, 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 the violent games, the, um, the uh, internet and all of the drama on the internet, um, the, the constant fear warnings and, 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 and terror warnings and all of the, the, the fear induced um, uh, media game that is purposely used to control us. All of these are forms of prophets, false prophets that take us away from our soul and our soul's purpose and our soul journey. And the only way for you, me, for everyone individually uh, to make better choices and further align to our soul's purpose is to identify what is taking us away from it. So this is what we will be working with today. So thank you all for joining. I'm going to pause for a moment and acknowledge all of you. At least so far, Facebook is being generous to me and allowing me to see your comments. Yesterday was a, a point of spiritual testing for me. I was unable to see anybody's comments until the last five minutes. And it was actually a very unique test. It gave me the opportunity to, to be creative, to receive different forms of information, to trust. Uh, when I was doing the, um, the being the deliverer of, the, um, of holding the book up and asking the soul of the book, the uh, Divine Healing Hands book, Master Shah had put 20 blessings in that book. I simply asked one of those 20 blessings to come out and bless all of you uh, to validate the value of Divine Hands, Tao Hands. And wow, what a massive validation. Uh, virtually everyone that made a request received a 50 to 100 percent result uh, by the end of the three blessings. Most of you received a 50 to 70 percent result by the end of the first blessing. And the first blessing came from a book, not even from a person that, that carried the, the abilities. Uh, but th that goes to show you something that Master Shah very clearly states to, to all of his students. He says very clearly, I can put a lot more power in a book than I, than I can when I transmit power to a human. Very simply because the human carries high levels of karma. The book does not. Therefore, the book can carry higher frequencies. So that's why it was such a pure blessing. The, the monkey mind has difficulty with that. So if you can uh, grasp that a great being uh, can, can put power into objects and things, and then you can further grasp the validation of the truth that was shown yesterday by virtue of the, of the obvious results. You can further understand the value of having divine hands, Tao hands. So I hope that for those that saw that yesterday, for those that didn't, please go back and look at yesterday's podcast or watch yesterday's video. Receive the three blessings. They were extraordinary. And contact me uh, to get on the list to be one of the people that has the possibility of receiving the Tao hands because you can change your life and all of those you care about. And the point being is that um, these are examples of how we can change our soul journey. In order to even receive the Tao hands, there, there needs to be, uh, heaven needs to clear a lot of the blockages just so you can be uh, pure enough to receive this heavenly frequency and therefore deliver the heavenly blessings. Um, truly, without a doubt, very, very powerful. <clears throat> so, uh, I got a little off track there. Let's go back to acknowledging all those that have come in. So welcome Robin Toth. Uh, welcome Kristen Rojas. Aloha Missy Dodd. Aloha Susan Birchmore. Uh, welcome also to Maddie. And welcome also to Linda Jansen, Susan Duvendorden. Aloha Linda Jansen. Welcome to Suki Singh. Coming in early from India. Welcome also to uh, Jody Bommel. Welcome, Christine Lucille Reed. Welcome also to CJ and Renee. Welcome, Richie Sauter. Welcome, Nikki Davis. 
Aloha Ale, Aloha Sally Francis. And welcome Diane Martin. All the beings of light are with us. I can feel them all around me itching my nose. Welcome Stephanie Cannon. Welcome Darren Williamson. Peace to you, brother. Welcome Raven Christine. Aloha Patricia Molina. And Nikki says she slept well last night for the first time in a while. Was that because of the um, blessings from one of Master Shah's videos, Nikki, or from the blessings you received yesterday from the three Divine Healing Hands blessings, Dao Hands blessings? Welcome Tammy, welcome Sherry Dowell, and welcome Susan Andre. And if I haven't mentioned your name, please forgive me. I haven't seen it pop up yet. Welcome Raymond Christine. Uh, she missed the ones yesterday. How can she go back? So right above this video is a link that talks about going to the video archives. That's one way to access them. Also, it's my website listed. When you go to my website, you go to my pod or my um, my blog, which has the podcast. So you can just click and listen auditorily. You can even uh, join any of the forms of podcast. You can receive them in email. You can download them to Android or use a podcast app. Anyway, you can listen on the go. Um, so, but definitely listen, the blessings were extraordinary. Um, and uh, I can tell you that it's, it's worth, worth a listen. So thank you all so much for coming. Thank you also for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. So, for those that are new, my name is Paul Fletcher. The name Master uh, is put in front of my name, not because I'm special or, or anybody that is... Um, certainly no, no, no higher or, or lower than you. It's just the name that represents that I have studied underneath somebody that I, I very gratefully call a master teacher. Uh, his name is Master Shah. And he is one of many great beings who have come to humanity to awaken us, to teach us how to align our soul to heaven. He doesn't say follow me. He says if this resonates with your heart, then, then do the practices that are suggested. And if you start getting healthier and happier, then you might want to continue doing them for the long haul. And that's why he has many, 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 beyond many people who are more than happy to promote his wisdom and teachings because they feel happier and healthier. I happen to be one of them because I have studied his wisdom and teachings for 10 years. Uh, I trained under a couple of other, what I would refer to as enlightened beings. And... Um, uh, I certainly support this teacher and his wisdom. You will receive wisdom and teachings today that may align with your soul very well. You might be like, wow, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. It may also butt up against some of your belief systems, which is not my intention. My encouragement is to recognize that if it butts up against anything and causes you irritation, regardless if it's me offering the, the sharing or anybody else, it could mean that there's an opportunity for growth. Uh, one of the things I share with everybody uh, is something that worked well for me. If I don't understand something or if it butts up against what I currently understand, what I try to do is not turn it off. What I personally try to do when I hear something that doesn't make sense to me, you know, I hear something about outside of this world or something like that, I don't comprehend it yet. I'll say, okay, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, maybe it's real, maybe it's false. But I don't have enough information to make an educated choice. If I take whatever I've heard and butt it up against what I believe is correct, that means my ego is saying I'm right and everything else is wrong. Right away that makes me wrong. So I find it always better for me personally, and I offer this as a suggestion to all listening, that you, uh, if something is said that doesn't quite align to your current understandings, that you say, okay, I am going to be ego free enough to set it aside and let time go by and at some point in time I might receive additional information that validates this or invalidates it and then I can decide if I want to keep it or not. This has worked well for me. I offer that wisdom to you. Give me a moment. So today First thing, first, let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Welcome Becky Lavab, welcome Kathy, welcome Raven Christine, um, and anybody else I haven't mentioned. 
We start by connecting with what's called a soul song. We place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, much like a prayer. But we use a specific body position which allows us to connect to heaven with a body mudra, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand gently points up towards heaven. <clears throat> and I will come to your question in just a moment, Raven. Let us close our eyes, be fully present. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen. Open your heart, open your soul. Let us connect. Dear beloved Creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, beloved God. Dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary. Dear beloved Buddha, Kuan Yin. Dear beloved, all beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including angels, healing angels, archangels, and masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, all souls dedicated to awaken humanity to their light, to their soul and their soul journey. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all. We ask for your presence to please assist us in whatever way is most appropriate to absorb uh, any wisdom today that aligns to their souls to assist them to further awaken. They're the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you. We honor you. respect you. We invite all souls in all universes to chant with us as we connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So for those that are new, Kristen has posted the words and the links. You can download this song or the words. Uh, it is a mantra that can truly uh, balance many areas of your life, including relationships, Raven. If all you do is download and play it 24-7 in your home on volume one, nobody even has to hear it. It can make that kind of a significant difference. So for now, those that are new, open your heart, receive the blessing, make a request. Everybody else, please join in. Let us serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo I wash in her ling Wo I run redly on ling rung her musher shung Shung I ping on a say Shung I ping on a say I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Hello. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I run redly on ling rung. Her musher shung. Shung I ping on her she. Shung I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Money. Ah.
好。<coughs> Welcome everybody. Do you feel more calm? Do you feel more connected, more relaxed? Has your busy mind unwound even a little bit just from that few minutes of what is called a soul song? The title is very important. Understanding the purpose of your life. Everybody is unique. There are seven billion of us on Earth, humans. There are billions upon billions of plant life. There are billions upon billions of animals, and every one of them have a soul. And every one of their souls has a purpose. Your soul has a purpose, very unique and different from mine. So who am I to offer you guidance on what is the purpose of your life? What is your soul's purpose? <clears throat> I am just another soul who has been seeking no different than you. One of the pieces of wisdom that might serve you well is a deep understanding of how to hasten, how to more accelerate your understanding. Because if you accelerate your understanding and you align to your soul's purpose, which is very different than mine, then you eliminate the uh, potential for suffering. Raven mentioned she has problems with her relationship. That's suffering. What does it have to do with soul purpose? Everything. Because according to what I've come to understand that I'm willing, uh, happy to share with you today, if it resonates with your soul, the purpose is to eliminate our suffering. The purpose of our experience being here is to move towards love and to move away from suffering. And in order to do that, we must first start with a recognition that that is our purpose. The purpose is to be happier. The purpose is to be healthier. We, you and I, are one of seven billion human beings. And on this planet, we are certainly not recognized by anybody else around us because the vast majority of us are far too busy in our own drama. We are far too stuck in our own stuff. And we go um, from birth and start developing our stuff. We develop our stuff with our parents, and then we develop our stuff with our brothers and sisters. We develop our stuff with our friends, and we lose friends, and we have uh, good times with the brothers and sisters, and sometimes later on in life we have fallouts with them, and we maybe do good with our parents, and then later on we become teenagers and have fallouts with them. We could be in a point of repair with that at our current point in life, could hate one of the parents, love the other one, could have great relationships with our parents. We could have found a spouse and were in love and found our soulmate, yada, da, da, da. But now we have problems. We could have found the ideal job, but everyone at the job is a jerk. And so this is our drama. This is our life. And in the middle of this life that we have worked very hard to develop from the beginning of time, we add to it all of this uh, drama that should be filled with health, happiness, and joy, but in most cases is not. We then add to all that all of these pieces of information that uh, are, are designed from my perspective, purposely designed to take us away from our inner true self because our inner true self is where our soul resides. It's where heaven resides. It's where the core resides. Uh, all of the connectivity to source is not from the outside, guys. It's from the inside. And at some level, intellectually and at a heart and soul level, you all know that. It's not like it's new information. But it is so distant from virtually all of us that we are so far from comprehending our soul's purpose, we, 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 we have to watch a live stream like this to try to get closer to it. And so it's... As far away as your efforts, if you effort to be away from it, then it's very far away. If you effort to move closer to it, then it becomes much closer. 
you know, you've heard that heaven is not far from us. We are far from heaven. Tao is not far from us. We are far from Tao. Um, these things, aside from just our own self-created, uh, you know, life, drama, whatever we find ourselves in, we have all these external things that pull us away from life. We have, as I just mentioned before, all of these various versions of false prophets, cell phones, I love my cell phone. I was quite busy with it today. I couldn't accomplish even communicating with you without it. So I'm not poo-pooing on it. But, you know, when I have a free moment, what do I do? I whip it out and I'm reading, you know, something to take my mind away from going inside. Am I any better than you? No. Am I any lower than you? No. Master is just a term. But I have enough wisdom and intelligence to take time out in the day to stop and do practices to align my heart and soul. I have enough desire to serve others to stop what I'm doing every day to stop and serve you. Hey, Craig. What's up, brother? Hope you stop and listen for a while, man. This is good stuff. Craig is a childhood friend. Uh, he used to be the on, one of the only pitchers in softball that could throw a, a, a lefty strike and strike me out. And I was a good hitter. So I hope you stay, Craig. Um, so when these external um, uh, um, sources take us away from connecting to our heart, uh, like the dramas on TV, the favorite TV sitcoms, the ones that have violence, death, violence, you know. There's ones, the forensic sciences one, where you get to see the cadavers every time. All of these things are not very good for the heart, guys. And, um, you know, I watch a few uh, shows that, that carry violence in them. I like sci-fi, things like that. But I've toned a lot of those down because I find that afterwards, actually, I'm very unsettled. I, my body is a little jittery because the frequency is not in alignment to the highest self. So when we have all these external sources, everything on the outside, everything that takes us away from our internal connectivity, how then do we have health and happiness? in our relationships, with our children, with our beloved creator, with our um, job and our co-workers. How do we have a life that is free of stress? How do we align to our purpose? That's the title of this live stream. It's damn hard. It, it is truly hard at this particular time, you know, in the cycle of life. Your soul chose to come in at this very unique time because where there is great differential, great chaos, great light, and great darkness is the greatest opportunity for soul growth. It is also the greatest opportunity for failure and to go into deeper layers of darkness. We are the ones that have to be responsible for our soul's journey. Remember, we are a soul having a physical experience. And if we lose, our soul loses. Our soul is forever, guys. You, the personality, you're temporary, okay? But this temporary experience is exceedingly important to your soul's entirety of this journey. So before coming in and manifesting as this being you are today, this gorgeous, beautiful, light being that is caught up in all these dramas of life and getting batted around by all these, these again, what I'm referring to as false prophets, all these things that take our attention away, uh, uh, fear, you know, crisis, uh, uh, killings, uh, drama this, forensic that, all of this crud from the outside takes you away. All of the dramas of our personal life take us away. You have to say stop. You are the one that has to step up to the plate and say, you know what, enough's enough. I need to put something good in my life to ensure that I at least counter this external negativity of my own family life, family world, personal world negativity. And you'll discover that you have far, far, far more power than you ever give yourself credit for. You are a seed of the Creator who gave you all the same power of the Creator because you are a seed of the Creator. The seed of the greatest uh, tallest tree has no less power than that greatest tallest tree because that tree gave that seed. It's 
it is, does that seed have the right conditions to grow to be the same size, girth, and strength of the tree that, gave, that, that created the seed? You have the same ability to grow to the same level as your creator. But what is inhibiting you is you're staying in too much of the shade. You are not giving yourself enough of the light that is needed to grow your soul in its journey, to align to your purpose. Your soul is talking to you all the time. Your heaven's team is talking to you all the time. Jesus and God is talking to you all the time. Buddha and Kuan Yin is talking to you all the time. You cannot hear them, or maybe you can, but in either case, most of us are not able to hear them on a consistent basis because if we were, we would not be suffering. We would be living in a plethora of happiness and healthiness in every area of our life. So why can't we hear all these beings of light all around us? Because we have allowed the shadows to, to impact us. We have chosen to not do things that can assist us. There is not one live stream where I don't talk about forgiveness and the forgiveness practice. Not a single one. How many of you are being consistent with that, doing that on a daily basis? Sometimes I falter, guys. How many of you are offering to serve others each and every day, going out of your way to do one thing special for somebody else that they did not ask for? How many of you pick up a book whether it's the Bible or a book that is designed to assist your soul specifically to awaken your soul more. How many of you chant love, peace, and harmony to serve all souls unconditionally? These are 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes of a light-bearing service that knocks you out of what keeps you separate from your soul alignment. We have to be self-responsible to um, to our soul. It's almost like most of us have a great deal of, of admiration and love for our mother and father, okay? I know that sometimes we don't, but for the most part, they birthed us. For the most part, we have a great deal of adoration and appreciation. We would do anything to save their life, as an example. Our soul is our mother, our father, and more. It is our, our direct line to source. What are we doing to stay connected to it? Do you know that every day your soul has a hope and an intention? It knows exactly what your day uh, has the potential to provide for you. It knows that you're going to meet Joe. It knows that you're going to have a, a, a meal with the wife and that the wife may come home angry. It knows that you might have the dog poop on the floor and cause you to be possibly angry. Your soul knows all of these things. And it will give you a heartfelt intention when your wife comes home angry give your wife love it will start telling you these things when your dog poops on the floor smile and say I love you please give me a warning so I can take you outside I know you're trying to get my attention for some reason please forgive me for not giving you more attention your soul will give you this guidance so that you don't knock yourself into layers of, of unpleasantness take yourself out of health and happiness how can we hear our soul if we don't start waking up to all of the different potentials that it gives us? Every moment of every uh, minute in your life is an opportunity to further awaken, to have less and less suffering. There is a plan, believe it or not, that heaven has when you come in as a soul. That's why they assign you a heaven's team. Your heaven's team is working overtime tirelessly with great love and great joy on your behalf and they're always giving us opportunities <laughs> part of the problem with an opportunity is it comes disguised as pain and suffering it comes disguised as um, something that we like to we like to um, um, blame on others or complain about so a big aspect of awakening to our soul its intention its purpose is to awaken to how life brings itself to us great sages have said it's not what happens to you 
it's how you respond to it how many raise your hands click the happy buttons or whatever you do if you've heard that before in some way it's not what happens to us it's how we respond to it for many of us that's went in this air and out the other probably five or ten times but I have to tell you it is probably the single most intelligent uh, statement that we all individually need to grab on to and hold on to like it was uh, it was you know a, a tiger you know a tiger catch a tiger by the tail imagine it was like the dragon that takes you to heaven grab onto that dragon's tail and the dragon is that verbiage it's not what happens to us it's how we respond to it that is if you hold on to that dragon tail it will take you all the way to heaven why because it is the truth life will continue to happen to us until we realize the happening is an opportunity the relationship raven brought up earlier others of you that have had significant blockages some of you have been consistently coming susan has mentioned that her life has gotten a lot better since she's been coming kate nicole her life has gotten a lot better kristen rojas i only teach the wisdom that master shah has brought to us which is what you have a soul your soul is forever you are a personality you have to be responsible for your soul and what comes to you because if any form of suffering comes to you guess what guys somewhere along the line you or your ancestors harmed others and that is coming back to you if the ancestors did good you get to rest in the shade drink the cold iced tea and have a beautiful relaxed life but if you have your ancestors you know harmed others you're going to have suffering in relationship finances intelligence pain you know this is common sense same wisdom that the great masters have brought for all ages master shahs a master that brings it with a new set of verbiage and wisdom and it assists each and every one of us to make better choices so each thing that comes to us is an opportunity especially if you have a lot of suffering going in your life see that opportunity say ah oh, my soul my heavens team my beloved creator loves me so much that he's given me an opportunity to uplift myself out of this suffering my financial suffering my whatever suffering this event has entered my life today maybe it's the dog pooping on the floor maybe it's the wife yelling when she comes home maybe it's the co-worker being unpleasant again maybe it's another bill but each one it's not what happens to you it's how you look at it because when you respond well it's like the windshield wiper that clears the mud off the windshield and all of a sudden you can see more clearly what does that look like when you see more clearly it looks like your soul talking to you it looks like your heavens team talking to you it looks like God talking to you and what does that look like feeling good feeling happier feeling healthier it also sounds like don't go there instead go here don't go there to the store like you were going to instead go over to your friend rosemary's house so you go to your friend rosemary's house and it just so happens that rosemary is cooking something and then you sit down and you do something with rosemary which further strengthens your relationship and she shares something with you and then you give her wisdom which saves her relationship and you get good karma for that and you'll get something out of it too you did that because your soul guided you you would not have heard your soul's guidance if you didn't clear off the windshield you would not have cleared off your windshield if you didn't make a better choice when these opportunities come to you everything that comes to us is an opportunity to respond positively to respond negatively master Shah, in his great wisdom has taught his students not directly i'm teaching you directly what he would do is the way a great master would do it water would spill he would say oh good luck something would would fall off on the stage he would say great um uh, uh, um something that everybody else might say oh my god he would say oh what a great blessing he would never tell us why he would say that you have to think the way an enlightened being thinks why would he say that because he understands the basic tenet of life 
the more we say things like, oh my God, I can't believe my dog shit on the floor again, the more we bring a negativity to the table, what does that do for our light? Common sense. The more we are responsible for how we react to whatever comes into our life, the more positivity we react to it with the greater we uphold and maintain that light. When we uphold and maintain that light, remember that's like staring off the windshield of more of the crud. Why did the crud come to us in the first place? Because heaven, our heaven's teams, our soul cannot talk to us. We're too filled with crud. We have too much external things pulling on our attention. We have too much internal trauma and drama and whatever else pulling on our attention. So they give it to us so that we can go, ah, oh, let us convert this into a light-based response, clear off that one to a little bit better, listen more to my soul, my heaven's team, to God, to Buddha, to whoever you believe in, and allow us to even clean out more of the crud. And each and every time you do that, which could be five or 20 times a day, you are practicing a positive response. You are practicing not a knee-jerk programmed response, not a response that mom or dad or your brothers or your sisters or your coworkers or your religion or anything else might have taught you. You're responding from a light-based positive, educated, I want to align to my soul, heart, mind, and body response. I want to clear this debris from my life response. You are making a choice that is an intelligent, heart intelligent choice. You are being responsible in the moment. And this is how we move into happier and healthier. There are so many ways to do that. How many of you, show of hands, how many of you have done a positive service for someone at least once a week let's see with this last year once a week you could have went out of your way you could have sung love peace and harmony to serve others you could have uh, slipped a five dollar bill in a person they weren't looking you could have stopped on the street given something to somebody and went about your way how many of you have done something like that do you realize that that little speck of light that you brought into their world brought you back tenfold, hundredfold light into your world. Now, if you did it for the purpose of receiving, of course, very little return, maybe a one-to-one -one return. But if your offering was unconditional, why do you get a ten, hundredfold return? Because you are acknowledging the oneness in all souls. You're acknowledging that I have enough, that, that, that I trust, that I have enough and will always have enough, and I give. I fail this test all the time, but I keep trying to break through my own blockages to keep giving more and more. I fail, but I keep trying. You fail, but you keep trying. We are human beings doing the best we can. The trick is to be consistent in doing the best we can. Master Shah has brought to us the great wisdom of using forgiveness practice, the great wisdom of seeing with responsibility all those unpleasant things to come to us recognizing depending on your belief system it's what you sow is what you reap it's karma doesn't matter the label that is put on it it is the same when we have something unpleasant come to us we or our ancestors created that condition awakening to that is awakening to your soul's purpose and intention awakening to that is recognizing that ah I have this relationship trauma, I have this financial blockage, I have this person at work blockage, I have this pain that's not going away in my back because I brought this suffering upon others. It's a very simple awakening, but far too many of us stay in the place of victimhood through the course of our life, pointing outside of us. Why? Because we're so stuck in our dramas and traumas that it's too painful potentially to believe that we could have earned this on some level. That's why the power of forgiveness is so pertinent. That's why the power of forgiveness literally can melt all blockages. 
It is beyond extraordinary. Many of you, probably half of you, did not hear the story of the animal that was on the store, lost all of its hair, uh, blood puffed up everywhere on its body, listless, tongue, teeth falling out, six-month-old pup, couldn't eat anything. On the store, the vet said, nothing I can do. A beautiful soul picks up the animal, takes it home, puts one of Master Shah's books on it, asks the blessings put in the book, which if you saw the blessings yesterday, you know that books can heal. He put, she put the book on the animal, asked the blessings in the book to, do the, to bless the animal, asked for forgiveness on behalf of the animal. Dear all souls, this beloved animal and its ancestors, mother and father, may have harmed in all time. Please forgive this beloved pet and its ancestors. Every day the animal recovered. By the sixth day it was out growing hair, scabs had fallen off, hair had regrown partially, and it was playing with other animals, eating normally, and the vet said it was going to die. The power of forgiveness is extraordinary. We must remember that. The purpose of our soul is to awaken to the oneness that we all are. And you cannot awaken to that oneness if you refuse the little pieces that come to us. You cannot awaken to those little pieces and even respond with, with the simple suggestions of seeing it from a, a different positive perspective and bringing love to it and bringing forgiveness to it. It's even hard to do that for a lot of us <clears throat> if we allow all these external things from the outside to bring us so much negativity. Turn off the TV. Don't watch the ultraviolet movies. Turn off the violent video games. Don't let your kids watch the violent video games. Don't care if they get irritated. Do it because it's for their highest soul journey. Replace it with games that are entertaining, but heart-based games. Teach them educationally why. Don't just yank it away and say, because I said so. Children are very intelligent and they're heart-based, but the heart is being closed when you let them play those violent games. It is not open. They can walk down the street and somebody can get smacked and they won't think anything of it because their heart is closed. If their heart was open, somebody gets smacked, their compassion be, oh my God, I can't believe that person smacked them. But when they watch all this violence that, that attends us from all around us in so many different ways, we become numb. We as parents have to be responsible for ourselves and tune out that numbness, turn off those numbing negative sources so that we can attune to all that heaven is trying to align us to. I tell you, <clears throat> the, the, the light side, dark side fighting, beyond comprehension. I mentioned a little while ago, I'll bring it back. You as a soul have the highest possibility of elevating your soul potential in this life because every soul's purpose is the same. It is to serve. And the purpose of service is to return to the heart of our Creator. We cannot go there by ourselves. That's an impossibility. You can only go there by serving others. You can only serve others and by serving yourself first, but not in the selfless sense, in the awakening sense. So when you serve yourself through the awakening by these suggestions, then you realize that the service to others, as mentioned before, can become a whole lot more uh, easy and more desirable and joyful. And then you start doing that even more. And accordingly, your soul standing starts increasing. And accordingly, you receive more blessings. With those greater blessings, you give more. <clears throat> this is the purpose of every soul's life in the biggest sense. But we as individuals have to be responsible. And when we, um, when we as a soul come into this experience where there is massive darkness, massive light movement, we have to stand in that middle, which is where we're all at, and make a choice. The darkness does not want us to acknowledge the choice. The darkness does not want us to even know we have a choice. They only have, they, they have free will by the way. Light has free will, dark has free will. Why? Because all souls are born equally with free will. So the darkness cannot purposely come over to us and hurt us 
we have to allow it by free will. That's the rules of the game, okay? We all have free will, but our free will, so to speak, is being hijacked by all these external sources. When you watch the news and it says, terror this, fear that, oh my God this, oh my God that, there's a hijacking of your consciousness. And that's legal, guys. That's the darkness winning, so to speak. You have a choice, free will, turn it off. Don't spend so much time with all of those things that keep you away from opening your heart. Make better choices is how you align to your soul's purpose. Your soul's purpose could be that you are to go out and ph photograph babies in their most pure and pristine state and then find a poetry to align to those images. I don't know, but maybe that's your purpose because people who see it open their heart. The baby's light opens their heart. The poetry opens the heart. And that could be your soul's calling in this life. But you don't know that because you're so stuck in the mud. Your soul's purpose could be a firefighter. Uh, but you don't know that because you're too stuck in other things. Your soul's purpose could be to make beads of crystals that clear Shen Qi Jing karmic blockages because of the light that they carry and you receive uh, heaven's images <clears throat> and the order of which to put in the crystals and who knows what heaven might give you. But you won't be able to do that because your channels are too clotted with the crud. Every person has an intention in this life that will allow them to serve other souls at a far greater and higher level. But if you can't get there because you're unwilling to awaken to those possibilities, then uh, that is what we're dealing with. Now, I want to state that it is exceedingly hard. We, those of us who came into this life experience, are trudging towards the light with very heavy boots that are stuck in the mud of the substantial amount of the, the, the negativity, if you will. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stop using the word darkness and I'll just say negativity. I'm basically the same, but... <clears throat> and so that negativity can, can come at a small angles. So I hope that this uh, rant, this this flow, if you will, because I speak from read knowledge, from taught knowledge from Master Shah, from personal knowledge, but I ask before I even turn this live stream on, dear heaven, please bra my mouth, allow me to serve all of those that will ever watch this video and this live stream in such a way that this reaches into their souls, turns on their, their connectivity to their soul and its purpose. I hope this wisdom has shared, uh, uh, served you well. Now, I have discovered personally that sometimes it's just hard. It's just hard. Uh, it's, it's, you try, but it's almost like, you know, someone's grabbing your ear and pulling you down no matter how hard you try. Why? What you sow is what you reap. Karma. The karma is too heavy. <clears throat> Those are the times you need to put extra effort into your practices, extra effort into your forgiveness, and do divine services, excuse me, do special services. There are not enough people that know about Master Shah, teachers like myself, that have received exceptional authority to offer special services that clear the blockages that are pulling your ear down and keeping you from leveling up. Receive a crown chakra blessing. Receive a blessing to open your heart center. Don't sit on the fence and say, I don't know if I can afford $75. I don't know if I can afford $100. I don't know if I can afford $200. That is not your light side talking. That is not your soul talking. That is this talking, pulling you down saying, oh, you don't need that. You can't afford that. It's a lie. You can if you truly align to your heart recognition. Because each time you do, you're eliminating this and you're allowing this. The blockages have been cleared could take you more than one lifetime to clear. I know because I speak from experience. 
So now I'm going to offer you a blessing using uh, one, of the, one of the books Master Shah has brought to us. <clears throat> this will be one of the highest blessings that is available uh, through, through the power he put in his books. Yesterday, for those that watched, I offered a blessing through his book <clears throat> called Divine Healing Hands. I was referring to the Tao hands that you can receive. There are literally, if you go to YouTube, literally over one, uh, well, we'll say 500 to be safe. I was going to say 1,000, but I know without a doubt 500. Uh, testimonials from people who have received this, either received the, the Tao hands or the blessing from the Tao hands, video testimonials of results. Yesterday, <clears throat> as a scientific example, I said, okay, everybody choose your level of pain, your level of suffering. I'm going to ask one of the 20 blessings transmitted to this book to come out and serve you. I'm not going to use any of my treasures. I actually wanted to see the results myself. I, I had seen him in workshops. I had seen him a couple times before, but it had been a while. And it's always nice to get validation. So the, uh, there's thousands of watches, but, but the 30 or so that was live watching it <coughs> made requests. And... Um, I held the book for four minutes exactly. I just asked, do the 20 blessings in this book? Please bless these souls for their request. I just sat here and chanted for a little while. And then afterwards, your responses. My 10 went to a zero, my eight went to a two, back pain, shoulder pain, wrist pain, headache. There was all kinds of massive results in four minutes. The kind that would take most of people days. Four minutes from a book. Master Shah takes no credit, always gives credit to God. But he is a true servant of the light side. And that's why it's important to keep your heart open if this information is new to you and, and, and you're, you're scratching your head going, is this possible and blah, 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 blah. Totally get it. Stay in that place. But become educated. Become aware. Become informed. Do your homework. Uh, you will come to discover that 20 years, 11 New York Times bestsellers, and yesterday's uh, stories were not made up. It's very validated and very real. There are very special beings on earth today serving humanity. <clears throat> he put in this book, Blessings, in uh, his special calligraphies. And I'm going to use this one here uh, to offer a blessing to you. Um, and this blessing will be to open your heart to align to your highest soul potential. Okay, to align to your highest soul potential. Now, this blessing will be for a few minutes. If you wanted to receive a crown chakra blessing or soul operation or any other special blessing, I can do that. And it would be like a whole lot more powerful than this because of the authorities I received. <clears throat> um, but that's up to you. If you're not wanting to, to align to your soul's potential, clear the blockages in your path. That's okay. You can continue to trace this and clear it slowly. Uh, but because I'm, I'm making this request and doing the blessings on your behalf, it will still be very powerful. So sit up straight. Back away from the back of the chair. Uh, feet flat on the floor. <coughs> Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth near the front of your teeth. Bring your thoughts, your breath into your lower abdomen. Breathe out gently. Be fully available. Turn off the mind. Prepare to receive. Rest your palms in your lower abdomen. <clears throat> First, we're going to ask for forgiveness. Very important. Repeat after me if it is comfortable. Dear my beloved creator. Dear all souls. In all time, if I or my ancestors have done anything in all time that has caused you to suffer physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, if I or my ancestors caused you to have financial problems, relationship problems, pain, discomfort, early death, if I or my ancestors have caused you emotional, significant emotional suffering of fear or worry or anger or depression or anxiety or caused you to be very negative from my heart, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. I ask most humbly 
for your forgiveness. I wish to more fully awaken to my soul journey so that I can stop suffering, so that I can serve more souls and be a better soul. I promise that if you release me from any spiritual debt that I have to you, that I will use this wisdom to more fully awaken and to become a better servant to humanity. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Dear, now this is for me, I'm going to set up to offer you the blessing. Keep your mind relaxed, prepare to receive. Visualize, this is the four powers, visualize heaven, God, Buddha, Jesus, whoever, coming to your heart center, sitting in your heart center, bringing massive amounts of love, light, and blessings to you while I'm offering these blessings. To the soul of the Shen Qi Jing, He Yi, soul, energy, matter becomes one calligraphy. Please come out. All of the blessings transmitted to this serve all those on the line watching and listening today live and any time while they are recording. Offer the blessings for opening the heart and soul to align to the highest soul potential as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I encourage you to stick around. I will do a short soul reading so you understand the value of this blessing <coughs> afterward. Blessing begin. Shen Qi Jing He Yi 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 Excuse me Shen Qi Jing He Yi 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 Soul energy matter becomes one. Soul energy matter becomes one. <coughs> Soul energy matter becomes one. 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 Silently, the blessings will continue to serve you silently. I will offer <coughs> spiritual eye images and what is happening at this time. My beloved ones, this is one speaking on behalf of the service coming to you at this time. There is a literally a subdivided soul of this calligraphy that has been superimposed much like a hologram on each of your souls. The countless layers of beings of light who have been transmitted to this book are joyfully serving your soul. 
There is an entire team of saints that are educating your soul at this time. Scrolls have been pulled out and your soul is being educated as to your purpose for the remainder of your time here on earth. There is also gifts and being uh, transmitted to your soul that have time-coded keys on them that when you reach certain levels of understanding will be unlocked greater wisdoms than will flow into your soul uh, aha moments they will appear to you but these will have been much like time capsules of wisdom there is entire heavens teams of animals saints buddhas bodhisattvas holy beings <clears throat> temples that are radiating all colors of light your soul has been placed in very specific uh, temples in which this light is permeating every aspect of your shen chi and jing your energy and matter that created you and these are being bathed in such a glorious light that the the blessings truly are beyond your comprehension there has been with this blessing a great wisdom and opportunity almost like it will be much easier for you to disconnect from the negativity and to align to the higher positive choices there has been wisdom imparted to you by the soul of master Shah with the encouragement to serve others more selflessly this is but a small aspect of all that has been received for the great understanding of even a moment of emptiness heaven can impart a lifetime of volume you are very blessed with this blessing on this day how 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you heaven uh, for that soul reading for these souls wow remarkable i am drenched guys i am just <laughs> bathed in sweat right now from the moment I started tracing the calligraphy I just drenched you were all very very blessed thank you heaven thank you source thank you creator <clears throat> thank you master Shah for bringing these tools and these books to serve so many souls so uh, uh, for those that are truly interested in expanding their spiritual journey I offer um, soul journey life coaching that applies this wisdom specifically to you tailored to where you're at in your life blockages in your life you get one-on-one -on -one coaching blessings and more that basically puts you on the fast track to stop suffering and to align to your soul's journey much much faster these are uh, a minimum of five week courses they're individual and there is truly nothing like them they will change your life so I encourage you if you're interested to connect with me Kristen has posted my information uh, also for those that are would like a, a, a massive kickstart and a washing of the significant blockages that are inhibiting you from awakening these blessings are available uh, for a very nominal honor fee you can again connect to me and learn more Thank you all for hitting the share button. If you're new and you enjoyed this, please uh, hit the uh, subscribe. You will be <coughs> made aware of the um, individual uh, live streams when they go live, <laughs> depending on how Facebook sends the information out. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity to serve you. I thank our beloved creator, Divine Dawn Source. I thank my teacher, Master Shah, all the beings of light who have come. And I thank you. I encourage you to come back tomorrow and we will go deeper into the wisdom teachings and blessings. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. Mahalo.